Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries, and today I want to bring you a before and after. Here's what's left of the before, and here's the after. For this project, I took my parents' old solid mahogany door and turned it into this cutting board. Now, in all honesty, this should have been a super, super simple project. And while the cutting board assembly itself was not difficult, cutting down the door did have a few unexpected surprises. So if you're ready to see how I fumbled my way through this project, let's get building. My parents recently replaced their 22 year old solid wood front door. When they built their current home in 1999, budgets were pretty tight and they didn't splurge for a whole lot except for that front door. The front door was I guess that one special piece that they felt was worth a little extra so they got a solid mahogany front door. And back in the day, it was quite the beauty. But after 22 years of sun, rain, and varnish, it needed a little TLC. I helped my dad replace it a couple weeks ago, but they really didn't want to just throw it away. So I brought it home to see what I could make out of it to keep as a little sentimental remembrance of the original wood door. So I made a simple cutting board. Now, making the cutting board was the easy part, but cutting down the door was a little more challenging than I expected. But before we get to that part, first thing was first, I removed all of the hardware from the door to get started. You can probably tell this was all the original hardware as well. I was going to use my circular saw to cut the sides of the door off first, so I needed a fairly flat surface to run my saw base along. So I used a pry bar and a hammer to remove the trim along the bottom and to carefully remove the trim around the glass panel. I removed all of the nails that I could find and then I grabbed my circular saw and my rip cut to cut off one side of the door. So I realize now how naive I was to think that this side piece was an actual solid piece of mahogany. I legitimately thought that I would cut this off, run it through the planer, rip it into pieces on the table saw, glue it up into a cutting board any size that I wanted and be done with this project. So I was unpleasantly surprised to flip this over and find that the sides were just glued together pieces covered in a veneer on both sides. Well, crap. pieces in here so it's not gonna be like one long cut that I can make and glue up we're gonna have to do this in small pieces <sighs> I took this piece to the miter saw to cut off the end to get a better look of what was actually inside again I honestly don't know why I expected that this would have been solid like I know better than to have thought that but it is what it is so once I cut the end off, I saw that it looked like the equivalent of a bunch of 2x2s two two cut to random lengths and glued together. And that kind of makes sense, as I'm assuming building them this way is probably both cheaper and less prone to warping. This was disappointing, but still workable. So I cut this piece into shorter lengths on the miter saw and ran them through the table saw along the glue seams to get my solid pieces for the cutting board. By the time I cut out all the usable pieces from one door side, it was not nearly as much wood as I thought it would be. So I cut off the other door side and the bottom to use as well. Now I really didn't want seam showing between my boards, so I trimmed these strips down into just solid pieces and most of them were fairly short pieces. So if I made a normal cutting board with the grain running the length of the board, it would have been a pretty small cutting board. So I played around with the design to try and utilize as much wood as I could and decided to glue it up like this and use the tall piece as kind of like a handle. Clearly I changed my mind later, but that was my initial thought. Bear with me here, I was completely winging at this project. Before I did any gluing, I ran these pieces through the table saw again, just to barely trim the sides to remove the veneer that had been on the front and back sides of the door. This gave the pieces all fresh surfaces and a common thickness so that they will glue up fairly evenly. Then I glued the pieces together in three small sections.
After all three sections had dried, I glued them together into one larger piece. And after the glue dried on that, I traced out my handle shape and tried to use a jigsaw to cut it out. Long story short, I hated it and I ended up deciding to trim it off into a rectangle. Okay, so <laughs> I was trying to salvage as much of that wood that I could and this is the shape that I ended up cutting. I'm just not really feeling it. So I think I'm just gonna cut off the handle cut this straight and then I'm just gonna like 45 the corners so <laughs> uh. since the grain was running the opposite way than usual I just really thought that I could make this extra unique with a really cool shape but rectangles are cool too right then I mitered the corners since I had rounded them with the jigsaw already this at least smoothed things out a little I used a belt sander to smooth, level, and remove any glue, and if you had a planer large enough, that would be super helpful here. Then I sanded it down to 400 grit on my orbital sander to get it ready for finish. To soften the edges, I installed a chamfer bit on my router and cut a small chamfer along the top and the bottom edges. And by the way, you may notice that little hole on the edge. That was in the original piece and I intended on cutting it out with my weird shaped design, but since I didn't finish that design, I just left it in place. It adds some character and I can run a string through it later if I decide to. I hand sanded and removed the dust, then used some walrus oil furniture butter to finish it. You can use any oil or finish that you prefer here and walrus oil actually has a specific cutting board oil as well. This is just what I had handy and it works fine. I honestly doubt my mom's actually going to use this for more than just decoration, but just in case she does, this stuff is food safe. Now, I'll be honest, I don't see myself cutting down any more reclaimed old doors again anytime soon for projects, but I am really glad that I did attempt this project and I'm really happy with the result. And I guess it's also good to learn a few things about door construction in the process. But if you've enjoyed this video and you can't wait to see what else I get into in future projects, be sure to subscribe and follow along. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy building.